which makes catching it a great challenge for professional hunters. Cougar hunting is a topic that raises a lot of controversy and criticism in the world today. Cougar hunting is strictly regulated and limited in many countries. Hunting requires special licenses, legal permits and compliance with local laws and regulations. The numbers of cougar that are allowed to be hunted are controlled and the times and areas allowed for hunting are set. It is important to understand that sustainable and responsible wild hunting plays a crucial role in conserving threatened species and their natural habitats. Hunting must be done ethically, under the supervision of specialized local guides and in accordance with strict government policies. Meat and other parts of the animal must also be exploited responsibly in accordance with local laws and traditions. We must understand that conserving biodiversity and wildlife requires a balance between animal rights and human rights. Hunting must be done responsibly and in an organized manner. Its impact on the environment and its impact on cougar numbers and the ecological balance must be taken into account. Promote community awareness and sustainability in wild hunting activities. These are essential aspects for the conservation of this animal. and maintain the balance of the ecosystem in the areas where cougars live. The next clip is about the crocodile hunting the strongest living reptile. Crocodile hunting is a common activity in areas where crocodiles are found, such as tropical countries and the tropics. The crocodile is considered one of the largest reptiles in the world and possesses tremendous strength and aggression when under threat. Crocodile hunting laws also vary from country to country and require special licenses and permits. Crocodile hunting is usually regulated by local authorities. Laws include the minimum size of an alligator allowed, specific hunting methods, and specific time periods. As for bear hunting, it is popular in some areas around the world. For recreational and sporting purposes, bear meat is obtained. Bear hunting requires special licenses and permits in most countries. It is usually strictly regulated to control bear numbers and maintain the balance of the ecosystem. Hunting seasons and hunting areas are determined and restrictions are imposed on the weapons and techniques used. Monkey hunting is a highly controversial business. Although there can be an ancient tradition of monkey hunting in some traditional societies, However, monkeys must be treated humanely and their rights as living beings respected. As for hunting monkeys coming to destroy crops, it is a practice that contradicts the concept of preserving biodiversity and wildlife. Although monkeys may cause damage to agricultural crops in some cases. However, there are many other methods that can be used to deal with this problem and preserve wildlife at the same time.
hog hunting varies greatly by country and region. In some areas, wild boars are considered harmful and cause damage to agricultural crops and the local environment. Their hunting is regulated to reduce their negative impact. Various methods are used to hunt pigs, such as hunting with traps or hunting rifles. It is important that pig hunting is properly regulated in accordance with local laws and legislation. Animal welfare must be taken into account and the balance of the local ecosystem must be maintained.